Hi folks and good evening and a very warm welcome um, thank you for joining me uh, right tonight uh, to this evening we're going to look at uh, this a uh, little beauty in this box there uh, this was bought to me this is bought for me uh, as a gift by my good friend Andy uh, you know he wanted to do something nice and he asked me for anything I wanted and uh, so I picked this I could have had anyone I wanted you know even today he said if that's not quite what you want he says we'll send it back and get you there I want us I know you won't so I'm happy with that anyway this is a ham and tech uh, is it ham tech hand tech uh, digital oscilloscope I've actually got a USB version I've got a USB version uh, made by the same company and I've actually been happy with it been okay but don't always have a computer at hand and I thought we'd unbox this together I thought it'd be nice to unbox this together uh, first of all we start with the the euro plug which I won't use but I'll clip that plug off that and uh, I'll use that I'll put a proper UK 13 amp with a 3 amp 3 or 5 amp fuse on the end of that that'll get done um then we have the uh they also supply us with a proper uk power supply power plug with the uk plug on it which is let's just check i'm expecting to find a three or a five amp fuse behind here if i find now if i find anything higher i'll be very disappointed and and what have we got that looks like a 13. Yeah, I expect to find a 3 or a 5 amp fuse in here. And that's a 13, it's a brown, it's a 13. Yep. 13 amp fuse. That's one bad mark to Antec. Providing a plug with a lead that needs... Anyway, I don't have a, I don't have a 3 amp fuse, but I'm pretty confident this machine's going to work, so... We'll go with that for now. Mind you, I can use the plug on me. I'm going to use the lead that's plugged into my other scope up there, which does have the correct fuse. So we're okay on that. Uh, once I set it up, because it'll be up on the shelf. Right. We also have a USB lead uh, for connecting it to a PC. So that's that. Make a bit more room here. There we go. We also have, I was moving my dinner plate. I could have my dinner on there last night. I can move them and shift that a bit further over. I need some cotton buds as well. There we are. Uh, then we have the soft then we have the quick start guide and the software disk. Because it can be installed onto a computer. We'll do that as well if I've got time today. And we've got in here, in this bag here, which is actually quite a well-made bag. <coughs> Who's that? Yeah? Um, my mum's got a uh, scrap some um, hot dog shall give them in. Uh, yeah, you can do. <coughs> yeah, tell your mum thank you. Have you done? Sit, sit. No, just give it just give them to him, Gabriel, and that way I can get on with doing this. Okay. Yeah. Be alright. Tell your mum thanks. Right, my glasses back on. Right, oh. Right, and this is the pack you get with uh, a couple of springs in there, a couple of, uh, I'm not sure what they're for, it'll all be explained, a little screwdriver, them screwdrivers are great for trimmers, I've got another one of them, 
So it's great now I've got two of those. And little pink pink and green things for putting over your leads should you want to change the colours. Uh, I won't, I'll leave them as they are. And they're your leads and they, like the last Antet leads, are actually not bad leads these. Uh, these leads that go into here, they're not bad. Uh, the, uh, the actual model of the oscilloscope is the T the, the T five what five thousand five thousand one hundred and it's a hundred megahertz hundred megahertz I thought it was hundred and ten but it's a hundred megahertz that's brilliant so we've got that now for the main item last but not least. is the oscilloscope itself. Now it was very good of my friend to get me this, I mean uh, there we go. Put that package in the box. Put the box down here. Don't use that my every me for tea, you've just had a load of hot dogs. Go on. Out. Out. Right, and basically, um, I'll zoom in and let you have a good look at this. Uh, well, one thing I have noticed is they've put They've put, oh no, there's a USB socket at the back there, I was going to say. I was going to say, they give you that lead with two different connections on. Yeah, that end's supposed to go into a peripheral, yeah, there's a, what do you call it there, a uh, USB socket there. But there is one at the back for that, so yeah, we're okay. Right, it has a handle on the top, so you can, you know, for portability. Um, oh, it is 110 megahertz says there. Uh, the it says that, that's confusing, isn't it? Because that, 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 oh, oh, hang on, that might, that, that might be the leads. Yeah, yeah, that might be, the, that might be the model of the leads. Because uh, this is a DOS uh, 1102 and it's 110 megahertz, uh, one gigahertz sample rate. Sample per second, sample per second. I think that is. Anyway, we've got a multiple pur 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 purpose encoder type button and control there that can be used probably for programming. I'll have to. I'll zoom in on it and give you all a good look. Uh, we've got a screen protector on there which we've not pulled off yet. Uh, we won't do that till we've checked everything. Uh, we'll zoom in on it, on it and let you have a good look. So what I'll do now, I'll bring you down if the battery, battery's got life in it. Should I have to turn this on? Sorry for the wobble. I want to move over that way a bit as well. more if I can. There we are. You can see you can see all the controls now. You can see everything you need to see. And I can see everything I need to see. So what we'll do move them out of the way for a minute because don't quite need those yet. Well we will need the little screwdriver so we can calibrate the probes. And I would imagine this calibrates the same way as my USB Antex. Hamtech, uh, isn't it? Hamtech. Would imagine it calibrates the same way as the USB version. And we've got two. Here's a two-channel unit. This. 
Uh, we've got two caps over that to keep the sockets nice and clean. Look at that. Do you know, and that's the on off button there. Do you know something, put them in the, I'll put them there for now, throw them in the box in a bit. Do you know something, this is the first. So channel one is yellow. This is the first brand new oscilloscope I've ever had. Oh, they fit on there, they, they feel nice going on there. Yeah, they feel good. Uh, this is the first brand new oscilloscope I've ever owned. Because all the scopes I've ever had have been cast, cast overs, been hand me downs, other people's cast offs. Not that's any bad thing, but you know, a scope's a scope. If somebody offers you one for free, you're not going to turn it down. You know, uh, or if, you, if someone offers you one for cheap, sorry. Because uh, my, my LG scope, I bought that one, I bought that uh, from Goldborn. And uh, we do actually have uh, the power goes into the side on this. A rear mounted jack would have been nice, but and you can actually adjust. These are adjustable, these feet. I'll read the manual because I don't know whether they need to be adjusted or not. I don't think they will be if it's going to sit up there. Uh, right. So we'll start with sorting the wires out and me getting tangled up. We'll start with me getting in a tangle, how about that folks? But yeah, these uh, these wires, they, they actually, they feel nice, I think they're silicon. They feel nice, the insulation is silicon, it feels good. It's not stiff or anything, it's lovely. Uh, we've got them there. Got them clips there. Um, it does actually tell you... Uh, See where the trimmer is because we need to we need them that way up to set the trimmer. That one hasn't done in properly. Yeah, it hasn't that's in now, it's good. Right, in! Just clean my glasses. And then we'll get ready for power up. We'll get ready for power up. And switch on. Oh, hang on. That's it. Didn't press the button hard enough. wasn't in all the way. And there we get our display. So so what we'll do we'll set the uh Do we'll set the, the square with the square wave up, which is the which is uh, that one. And what we'll do, we'll set that so that way. And I'll use the screw out of it, screwdriver out of here. The reason why I'll do that is because I don't know where the other one is. It's in the drawer, and 
what we'll do, we'll adjust that to get a and that's it and that's there we go that's a nice square sine wave a nice square wave on that probe so let's take that one off and set channel 2's probe up and that one obviously needs adjustment as well Just turn this down. Right. So position. I'm looking for the trigger. Run stop. That'll stop, that's run. Menu, force, copy. Right, I'm looking for trigger. Mind you, I don't, mind you, let's try. I don't know what any of these do yet, I've not checked anything, but we're getting a good square wave anyway, I did actually get the alignment. Yeah, there we are, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that folks, and what we'll do now, now that we're set up, let's turn let's turn the signal let's turn the signal generator on and uh, is channel two and we'll go for channel one right Oops, wrong way around right, so before I connect channel two I'll just set this up putting 10 volts into that right we'll turn that we'll set channel 2 up the same way we'll just turn the voltage down we'll put we'll put two we'll put six volts into it oh shit I pressed the wrong button This one. Let's turn this one down. Then set the parameter. Six volts. Shit. Yeah, that's my switch cleaner fell on the floor. I'm going through all this lot in a bit tonight, bro. Well. Alright, so let's get me reel the lead. this there we go that, that that what do you call it it's a bit light you know 
uh, that uh, signal trace uh, signals uh, there we go right that signal signal generator is a bit light I'm going to take that power put a chunk of metal in the bottom of it to give it some weight or some uh, half a brick or something even now let's have a play. So we both so it's channel two. Uh, there's channel one and channel two both are running. So I've turned channel so right, so what does this actually do? Let's turn channel one off. Let's turn it back on. Right, that allows me it's not touch screen, I have to use Ah yes. What probe what are the probes set to times ten? Yeah they are, so does that automatically change? Well, that's times one. So if I press What does the utility do? Oh, function. Configure. So the short scraps out. So if I press that. Oh yeah, I can adjust everything. Yeah. Out! Out! It's not time. And you've just eaten all them bloody hot dogs, you greedy fucker. Right, so basically, um, if I press measure, add channel, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to re I'll have to read the book. Auto set. Now that's automatically set it for that wave. That's automatically set it now for what I want, for what it thinks I'm doing. And tr the trigger button is here. Yeah. Cursor. Yeah, I've got a lot to learn, and I've got a lot to learn, folks, because I've never used one of these, because um, my USB one doesn't have all this stuff. Uh, I'm just pressing buttons and see what I get, because that's the way you learn. Right, and that, was, that must work it out. Overall, puts a pink line up there. Yeah. You know, but this is actually a nice piece of kit. It's not bad. It's lovely. And channel one DC, and it's forty-four, four forty millivolts. So if I turn that up, press that auto button again, it'll take it back to where it should be. There we are. Do you know it's really, really nice and copy, I wonder what does copy well like, I would imagine. Right. I would imagine that can be then moved to a PC or somewhere. Let's try it again, see what you can see it's giving me any information, it doesn't really. Just copies it. So basically I must be able to so if I press run stop. 
menu. Next page. There are your different. There are your different menu options. Force. It has to be running for that to work. That oh, doesn't do much. Must do something. Horizontal. No. Oh. But yes, it's. Uh, uh, I'm actually very happy. Utility. Let's go in there. Uh, function. Display. So if I press. Oh, I know. Display. Configure. If I press. Language. Yeah. Yeah, leave all that as it is. Press and just see what that does. Come out, it takes you out of the menu pressing that. Yeah, that's just for the screen options. We'll leave them for now. Because uh, we're just feeling our way around it, really. Um, um, I want to find out what all the rest of the backlight 100% and yeah that allows you to adjust the backlight oh, so, oh. <laughs> yeah oh yeah turn to where you want it to go and then press that, oh, there we go. Configure the we've been in there. So let's come out of that. Go to device. USB MT. MC rather. So yeah, you can choose what device you're using. Uh, so what we'll do now, folks, we'll get the uh, laptop out. We'll get the laptop and we'll have a look at what the software can do. Should be enough charge in the laptop. So we'll see. Let's zoom you out a little bit. We'll see. But yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased with uh, this. I mean, whoops. We're a bit unclipped on the bottom of the laptop then. Let's just turn this on. And I want to put it that way up so we can monitor it. See, we have it that way. A little golder, it should flip the right way up when we need it to. So if I put that over there and unravel the USB lead wherever that's where we we'll managed to secrete that, there it is. Oh, there we go. Getting Windows ready, don't what? Why is it getting Windows ready? It shouldn't be. Oh, it did an update the other the other day it might be because of that so what we'll do we'll just give it a couple of seconds while we wait and hi folks i'm back i've just realized i couldn't uh, use the pc because uh my my laptop doesn't have a cd drive so i've got to copy this stuff from the cd to a memory stick which i've mislaid at this point and uh We'll perhaps do that another day. But yes, that's uh, 
that's the, the unboxing and quick demonstration of the hand Hamtech Uh, I think it's Hamtech, Hamtech, uh, DOS 1102 uh, digital oscilloscope. I'm really, really pleased. And, uh, you know, what can I say? You know, uh, yeah, it was uh, very kind. Um, very nice of my friend to buy that for me and uh, um, yes I have helped him out but I didn't help him out for gain I helped him out because he's a friend and uh, and that's in the spirit that he bought me that you know uh, as a friend not because uh, anything I may or may not have done for him and yeah, 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 top one, Andy. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Uh, this will go up. I'll show you where. Well, you all know where my current scope is, but uh, I can assure you, by the end of today, it was turn the. There's my current scope, and uh, that'll be put in storage should it ever be needed. And uh, this one will be brought into service uh, as my, my as my regular scope. And yeah, I'd have liked to have shown you working on the PC, but as you can see. If we, uh, you know, it's, uh, I'm only demonstrating a sine wave on here, but I could go to another wave, but there's not really any point. If I click cursor, what do we get? That uh, just brings that up, doesn't it? So we can go through the, there. You can move that up and down. I mean, in all honesty, folks, I have got to read the manual. Because, um, I mean, some of, some of it I do understand. Uh, I basically understand it enough to make measurements with it, but the stuff I don't know, so I will have a quick look. And, uh, yeah, it's, a it's rated to, it's rated to uh, 400 volts as well, CAT2 uh, compliant, apparently. Uh, 20 PF, 300 volts, RMS. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, you know, yeah, that's uh, very, very, uh, very, very pleasing. Very nice, and it will go up on my shelf. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, there'll be another video coming up sometime uh, this week on this car radio. I've not forgot about the car radio, I'm working on it. And uh, What have I just pressed there because there's something on the screen that wasn't there a minute ago. Uh, I must have pressed some that. Oh, that allows you to adjust that. Right. And that auto sets it to where we want it, where it should be. Uh, yeah, I've pressed something, haven't I? That's channel one off. So channel one is obviously the trigger channel, or that's what it's set for. If I press two, 
some more two off. Can you? Oh, that turns that off. So when that disappears, yeah, there we go. That that turns it off. So yeah, I'm gonna have to yeah, it's, uh, let's peel this screen protector off. You don't make them so you can grip them. I think they expect everybody to have sharp fingernails. So what we'll do is just get that with the pliers there. I was supposed to pull the screen protector off, but it didn't. That's if there's a screen protector on there. There's not. It's just that red thing, and all, it, all, all it's done, all it's done really, is left a bit of gunge. Let's get me IPA. All it's done is left a bit of sticky gunge in the corner. Just get me IPA in my shirt. Just give this a quick wipe. Just wipe that sticky gunge off. That's got it. There we are. Yeah, that's got it. Lovely. I thought that was a screen protector, but it obviously wasn't. Yeah. Just a fucking square thing stuck in the top of the screen. What purpose that was serving, I don't know. I dare say it'll tell me when I read the instructions. Anyway, that's it. The Antec. Yeah. DOS 1102. Thank you very much for watching, folks. And more to come later. Bye for now.